Hello and welcome to the Capital Area School Development Association Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Daisha and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items to share with you. First, your microphone and your camera are off, so our panelists will not be able to see or hear you. However, you can uh, communicate with them using the Q&A button on your screen, uh, maybe at the top or the bottom of your screen. If you click that, you'll be able to type questions to our presenters at any time, and they'll be able to respond directly to you. This is one of many sessions happening, happening tonight, so be sure to check out the schedule um, as well as tomorrow. We have a couple of events, um, so feel free to check out the schedule for any you're interested in. This presentation is being recorded and it will be available at strivescan.com slash CASDA-NY. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, Florida Southern College. Hello everybody, my name is Carla Regosa and I'm an Assistant Director of Admissions here at Florida Southern. Um, so welcome to Florida Southern College page. Um, at Florida Southern, we're a small private liberal arts school with about 3000 students and uh, we've been around since 1883. Um, it does make us one of the oldest religiously affiliated colleges around. Um, and you know, you're looking at this really cool, fun picture for those of us who like fun designs. We are, um, we were designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. So it's actually a really cool tour to do, not just a campus tour, but we also have historical tours available. Um, if you don't know who Frank Lloyd Wright is, come to campus, check it out. But he is one of the famous architects. Um, at Florida Southern, we have about 70 different uh, majors to pick from. Uh, with that, we also help out uh, with those who want to continue on to graduate schools for professional tracks. We currently have about 16 pre-professional tracks. And uh, you can also stay with us and continue a master's or doctorate degrees. We currently have about 11 of them. Um, some of the ways that we help you out with that is that we have accelerated programs like accountancy, business administration, and education, where we do four plus one programs. Um, we also have this conditional admission offer uh, for medicine, dental, or pharmaceutical school with LECUM, um, Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. And we have a partnership for engineering with Washington University in St. Louis. So there's really a little bit of everything for everybody um, here at Florida Southern as far as majors available. Um, and the way that we teach here at Florida Southern um, is really interesting. They've actually won some awards, uh, national awards for the way that we teach here. But um, not only are all your classes taught by your professors, we do something called engaged learning. And so when you hear a lot about that, you know, it's not just, uh, it's both theoretical and practical together, um, which oftentimes there may be just one or the other, where maybe you're in a lecture-based setting only the entire time. Um, and so this isn't the setting uh, at Florida Southern. You're gonna be doing a lot of hands-on approach. Um, some of the things that we do, for example, for our science students uh, taking biology class, they're gonna go, um, do some antibiotic research their freshman year, which can sound intimidating, but you're learning a lot about how to research, um, which is really interesting. Um, for those students that want to start doing research right away, that's something that they can at least start learning how to do, and maybe they can continue to do that research that they started their freshman year. Um, class sizes on average are about 18 students, so again, still uh, fairly small classroom sizes, um, and we do participate as a competitive school, you know, academically in over 250 conferences a year. So maybe um, my marine bio students are in an honor society called Row Row Row, and there's a conference for that we participate in. Same thing with psych um, in the national conferences and having our students submit their research for that is really important for us. Um, while you're, you know, getting to know a lot of different campuses around, um, Definitely a good way to remember Florida Southern is that we offer these three guarantees. So Florida Southern guarantees in your education that you're gonna be able to study abroad, participate in an internship and graduate in four years. So the study abroad is already included in your tuition uh, cost. So typically there's no additional charge or if you're doing like an extra long trip, there may be a discount rate in comparison. Um, so that's definitely something to 
look into um, that Florida Southern will provide. Uh, your internship is built into your curriculum for most of your majors. Um, some majors like psychology, maybe the internship is a little bit different where maybe you're doing a research-based opportunity because you're looking to get into grad school. And then we do a graduation in four years guarantee. If not, we cover the rest of your tuition costs. Um, so that's really interesting, right? When the national average uh, for schools isn't at four years, um, guaranteeing this at Florida Southern, we do have conditions, you know, you have to be passing your classes. Um, you have to be meeting with your faculty advisor every semester, which is required anyway, um, in order for you to register for classes. So we are checking in on you, but it's a big deal for us to make sure that you have these experiences at Florida Southern, because when it comes to outcomes, uh, we do go ahead and check with our students, um, typically about a year after graduation, and we do have a 97% graduate success rate, whether our students are in the field that they wanted to be in, whether that's graduate school, military, um, or going straight into the workforce. Um, we have a pretty high success rate with that, and I think that's really important, not only with Florida Southern as to like the three guarantees that we offer, but also um, the relationships that we build with other community, with the community of Lakeland um, and other uh, really good fact, you know, um, buildings and such um, that we build relationships with. <laughs> um, while at Florida Southern, we are a residential campus. So we do um, expect you to live on campus all four years. Uh, we do have some, uh, Areas where you may be able to live off campus, like um, if you live in the Lakeland area within a 30 mile radius of campus, you can choose to live off campus, but overall most of our students are living on campus. Uh, you grow with the campus, so uh, you'll start off with a traditional dorm uh, style, you and a roommate, and then you'll grow, you know, as you get older, um, you get more responsibility, maybe full kitchen, apartment, or houses off campus that FSC owns. So the nice thing is that if you lose your keys in the middle of the night, uh, you can still call safety and they'll come and get you, let you in. So it's quite nice. Um, and then as far as activities on campus, we do have always something fun to do. One of those things is Athletics Incorporated. We have over 20 different Division II sports uh, with NCAA. And then we have some club sports under the Division I side. Um, so I tell students is like whether you're interested in participating in that, we do have that offered. I tell my students to definitely reach out to the coaches uh, for anything on the athletic side, but then, you know, there's there's a game or something to go uh, build some spirit with. Um, so that's always really nice, I think. Um, and then on top of that, we have over a hundred different clubs and organizations. I mentioned, you know, one earlier row, 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 but um, there's anything from something within your major, so professionally affiliated to, something maybe special interests affiliated. So um, I have a student who has a club for anti-bullying um, and goes to different schools in the area um, to help support that. And then I have another student who really likes cats. So there's a cat club and they take care of the cats on campus. You know, there's just about anything on there. Uh, the big thing with Florida Southern is that we look for students that meet our cornerstone, our values. And so respect for all, peace, sensibility, social justice and inclusivity, um, that's been around since the, the moment we built our campus. Um, and so that's something that's very important. Um, with that, I mentioned earlier that uh, we were the oldest religiously affiliated college. We started off as a United Methodist school, but um, we do have over 10 different campus ministries on our campus. So we do welcome all uh, religions. And uh, we also have, um, you know, anywhere from 25 to 30% of students affiliated in Greek life, more philanthropic base. So if you're definitely interested in fundraising and uh, getting in touch more with the community, that's something that's really great for um, you and the students here on campus. All right, uh, thank you, uh, Florida Southern. We are running short on time. Um, All right, you... well, applications sure. there, but um, I'll put my contact information um, and uh, we'll talk more. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Florida Southern College. Our next institution presenting will be Eckerd College. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Jacob Brown. I'm the director of admission at Eckerd College. Let me go ahead and share my screen very quickly. Eckerd is right down the road from Florida Southern. So about, uh, oh, I would say an hour, hour and a half um, down I-4. So we're located in the city of St. Petersburg, which is part of the Tampa Bay metropolitan region that includes the city of Tampa, um, St. Pete, obviously, and Clearwater. So this is our campus. It's a 188-acre campus, um, about 1,950 students. 
with 83% of our students living on campus. Our geographic reach is actually um, quite broad. So about 17% of our students are from our home state of Florida. Um, 48 different states are represented by the student body in 39 other countries. One of the most interesting statistics that I like to share with families um, and prospective students is that on average, our students are traveling a thousand miles from home to come to campus. So that's much different than the national average where students typically will travel 200 to 250 miles from home to go to their college. So our students go four to five times that distance commitment. They tend to be a little bit more adventurous than the type. And typically in a class of about 525 first years, they'll represent about 480 different high schools. So that's also quite different than most of the colleges and universities that might have more of feeder schools. Eckerd also has a 414 academic calendar. So this relates to the number of courses a student will take in their given academic year. So a student will take four courses in the fall, four courses in the spring, and then a short term every year. Sophomore, junior, and senior year, that short term happens in the month of January, where they'll take a course for three weeks as part of our winter term. But in their first year, instead of 414, fall, winter, spring, it'll look more like 144. And so our new students come in three weeks prior to our upper class students for a course um, that's part of autumn term. So autumn term is our three week intensive orientation. It does include a class, but also some orientation activities to help students really um, get a strong foundation for college life and the college academic experience. Um, this is where they can get to know other members of the first year class, figure out where the buildings are located, figure out how to be, uh, how to navigate St. Pete or how to be healthy and safe um, on a college campus, as well as how to be academically successful. Um, the course itself, I should mention, is not major specific. So it looks at a particular issue or problem or theme for those three weeks. So it could be courses like largest fragile environment, um, anthropology of eating, um, discovering nature's cures. However, once a student um, in the spring of their, their first year um, has the opportunity to declare their discipline, they can choose from over 42 different majors and academic programs. So this is a list of our areas of study. Our most popular major, our flagship program is marine science. And that's what we're very well known for. Um, sort of rounding out the top five would include environmental studies, animal studies, which is really animal behavior, um, looking at animal and human interaction, biology, psychology, and international relations and global affairs. But you can learn more at eckerd.edu slash majors. Should also mention, as I said before, we're a residential campus. So housing is available all four years. 83% of our students live on campus. And we're right on the beach, uh, we're right on the waters. We have our own beach. This is South Beach right on campus. What you may see right there is a dog. So Eckerd is the pet friendliest campus in the United States. Yes, your furry or scaly friends are welcome to live on campus with us. We also are home to one of the most comprehensive collegiate waterfront programs in the United States. And so the waterfront program is certainly recreational. Whereas you can see in this photo, students can take out paddle boards, kayaks, sailboats, you name it, we have it, wakeboards. It's also academic. And so our students can board a beach cat catamaran or, or go on kayaks with their faculty member and do courses right there on the water, some that are related to their um, courses or related to research that they're conducting. It's also service oriented. So uh, the waterfront is home to XR, Ecker College Search and Rescue which is a really unique leadership opportunity where students are trained to respond to on average 500 to 600 distress, maritime distress calls um, per year. These are our application requirements. So we're on the common application. We also have our own online application. Um, early action deadline is coming up November 15th, which means if your application is in by the 15th of November and completed, you'll get a decision from us by the 15th of December. Uh, no binding commitment, it's early action. You still have until May 1st. We're test optional, and that's truly test optional. So if you don't submit your test scores, no problem whatsoever. You're still eligible for all of our merit-based scholarships. And finally, I'll mention Eckerd College is listed as one of the 40 colleges that change lives. Um, colleges that change lives is in its fourth edition, written by Lauren Pope, 
Um, and it's a really great resource. So I encourage you either to look at this book or really um, strive to find a college that's a good fit for you. And that's the point of this, um, this book here is college can be a life-changing experience. It doesn't have to be from one of these 40 colleges, but if you find a school that's a good fit, it will change your life. Thanks so much. Thank you, Eckerd College. Our next institution presenting is Florida Memorial University. Good night, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you. Um, I am Dr. Clyde Lewis. I'm the Director of Admission at Florida Memorial University. Um, so just to give you some perspective on our location, um, so far, I guess we've been in, in Northwest Florida. Um, we are a little bit further south. Um, we're closer to, to what would be known as South Beach. So that's sort of our local land landmark. Um, we're 20 minutes from South Beach, 20 minutes from Miami Beach. Um, very diverse area. Um, a lot to capitalize on as far as culture. Um, we have a, a rich Caribbean, Hispanic, um, you know, we're, it's a true melting pot. Um, and of course, with that melting pot, um, no pun intended, um, there's a diverse array of, of culinary um, adventures on which you can embark. Um, in terms of our history, we've been around since 1879. Um, so, you know, we started off actually in, in North Florida. Um, and given that we, we are an HBCU due, due to some, some challenges and racial tensions, uh, we worked our way south um, and we're now in the Miami area. Um, so we're actually in Miami Gardens, Florida, um, which is just into Miami-Dade County. Uh, but, but you know, in the, since 1879, we've experienced a lot of growth, a lot of progression. Um, and, you know, with that, we have some alumni that we really are proud of. One that I will point out is Barrington Irving. He's, he's one of the first uh, black males to fly solo in a, an aircraft around the world. Um, as far as some of our niche programs, things that we're well known for, um, we're ranked number five in the state for elementary education and exceptional student education. Um, we do have athletics on campus. Uh, one, of, one of our marquee programs this year is football. Um, but one of the things we're proud of is that our student athletes are you know, right around the 3.0 or better um, for the most part. Um, in terms of what there is to do on campus, in addition to sports, we have your you know, fraternities, sororities. We do have a marching band. So, so any students that are into the arts, we do, have, we do offer band scholarships. Uh, we do have vocal ensemble, which does include scholarships. We are really religiously affiliated. We're affiliated with the Baptist church. Um, so there are um, religious clubs on campus and there are scholarships through the Baptist church. Now, in terms of what we offer, um, we have different departments. Um, one of the unique majors I'd want to point out to you is the aviation program. Um, we are directly next to an airport. So we do have a, an air traffic control tower on campus, as well as an aircraft to, to help students prepare either for a career in air traffic control, aircraft maintenance, or um, aviation management slash, you know, if you, or if you'd just like to be a pilot. Um, top five majors I would say would be biology, education, criminal justice, social work, and, and our array of business majors to include finance, management, and general business administration. Um, in terms of financing and scholarships, um, we're, we're very modestly priced. Um, room, board, tuition, and, and meal plans are about 24,000 per year. Um, for our out-of-state students, we do have academic scholarships that are based on merit. Um, the average GPA required for, for these top tier scholarships would be a 3.5 weighted. Um, our full ride scholarship to be eligible to apply, you have to have a 4.0 weighted. We are test optional, um, so we do not require test scores for these scholarships. Um, in terms of room and board options, we do have um, residence halls for male identifying students, as well as residence halls for female identifying students. Um, and of course, as you get older, you, you will have apartment style options available to you. Um, in terms of applying, we are application fee for Free. There's no application fee to apply to our institution. Um, we're on the common application, the common black application. We have an internal application. As I mentioned, we're test optional. We do require a 2.4 weighted GPA. Um, and if you do decide to submit test scores, we'll use those to place you in either math or English. However, if you don't agree with that placement, um, you can take a, a PERT test on campus or 
either that or submit your AP, IB, ACE, or dual enrollment scores for placement purposes. Um, in terms of where to apply, where to find more info, uh, as well as my email, feel free to take a screenshot here. Um, the link on the, the QR code on the left would allow you to apply. Uh, the QR code on the right would allow you to visit campus. Um, and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Florida Memorial University. As a reminder, you can send questions to our panelists using the Q&A function on your screen. So feel free to click that button and send any questions their way and they'll be able to respond to you directly. We will now move on to our next institution, which is SCAD. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Chris Peterson. I, I'm the Assistant Director of Admission for the Savannah College of Art and Design, better known as SCAD. Um, and I'm thrilled to be talking to you tonight real quick about um, what makes us different than a lot of other art and design universities uh, that you might be looking at. But right off the bat, what you should know about SCAD is that we are actually the largest art and design school in the entire country. We have over 15,000 students. Uh, we have two campuses in the state of Georgia. I noticed that we're kind of moving up north uh, from uh, campus to campus here tonight, uh, but we are uh, primarily located in Savannah, Georgia, and we also have a campus in Atlanta as well. And when you're accepted to SCAD, you're actually accepted to both of those locations at the same time. So you can just bounce back and forth uh, from campus to campus. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen real quick so you can see exactly what I'm looking at here. Um, but this is our website. And what's really nice about SCAD.edu is there's a lot of uh, information about SCAD on here. So for instance, if you wanna see uh, information about our locations, uh, our majors, um, you know, exact classes and the admissions process, it's all right here for you. But what you should definitely know is that uh, Savannah is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you're talking about a national historic landmark district. Um, the entire city has basically been preserved. Um, so this way, you know, when you're, when you're coming to Savannah, uh, you really do look like you've stepped back in time. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now in Savannah, uh, we've got over 80 buildings for our students down there. So when you think about the great art classes that you have at your schools, uh, imagine 60 to 70 other buildings just like it. Uh, and that's basically the situation that you have down there in Savannah. So for students interested in fashion, illustration, film, game design, uh, they actually have their own buildings to call their own. And better yet, these facilities are open 24 hours a day for you as well. So tons of opportunities for you. Average class size at SCAD is about 12 to 15 students. We actually cap it at 20. Uh, so that's why you're never in a large classroom environment. And we do work on the quarter system here. So you take three classes per quarter uh, and classes are held Monday through Thursdays. You actually get Fridays off here at SCAD. Fridays are used as studio days. You have an entire day off uh, just to work in your studio spaces on your various projects and things like that. Um, also, what you should know about Savannah, you know, it's hot down there. I mean, average temperature is about 75 degrees uh, throughout the year. Coldest day in the history of Savannah is 23 degrees, actually. So it doesn't get cold out there very often. We're about 10 minutes to the beach or a little over three hours from Orlando, Florida. Uh, so it kind of gives you an idea for what uh, that climate is like. I mentioned before, we're also located in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, which right now is going through a major boom in popularity. More companies uh, are moving to Atlanta than ever before right now. Uh, more jobs, the film and television industry is thriving um, in Atlanta. So there's lots of opportunities for our students. And what that means uh, is job opportunities. In fact, some of our top employers over the past couple of years have come from the greater Atlanta area. These, these are companies like Coca-Cola, Delta Airlines, and then literally across the street from us is the headquarters of Cartoon Network. So for students that want to go into animation, they have a major studio literally right across the street uh, that's taking a lot of them um, on an annual basis. So lots of opportunities here. And like I said before, uh, when you're accepted to SCAD, you're accepted to both these campuses at the same time. Real quick, when we talk about our majors here at SCAD, uh, I mentioned before, we've got a lot of them. We've got 45 majors and 75 minors. So that's a lot of th different things that you can get your hands on um, while you're here at SCAD. And when it comes to to looking at um, a lot of the information that we have on our website. We're going to give you a ton of it. We're going to show you all the classes that you take within the major, but we're also going to show you the careers that you can get with some of these degrees. So if you're wondering, okay, what can I do with an animation degree? What's really out there for me? We're going to show you right here on this page. We're going to show you that uh, some of the job titles that our students have received, also the companies that are hiring them right now. And this obviously, hopefully, uh, these are companies that you know, maybe even companies that you want to work for, but hopefully companies Companies that you never thought were looking for people like you, uh, creative artists like yourselves. And that uh, happens all the time. That's, in fact, one of our largest employers last year uh, was NASA, of all places. So again, tons of opportunities for you. Uh, but you can take a look at all of this 
um, on our website by clicking through all of our majors. Uh, the other feature that I really love too is you, you actually can see um, student work. And I think it's so important when you're looking at uh, an art design school uh, to, is, is having the ability uh, to see student work. And I think really what's nice about that is it gives you an idea for you know, what kind of um, technology that school is using, how far can you go with your own creativity, just kind of get an idea for what students are up to. And I think if you're looking at art design schools, um, any website or any school that you might be looking at, make a point to ask to see some student work because again, it's gonna give you uh, just some really incredible ideas about what you might be able to do um, on that campus. Um, finally, let me just really quickly talk about the application process. Uh, we are a little different than um, other art design schools where we do not require a portfolio to get into SCAD. We only require your academic profile. So right now for seniors, that would just mean a transcripts. We're a test optional school right now. Uh, so you do not have to give us an SAT or ACT score. Uh, and we do award scholarships based on your academics as well as your portfolio. So even though we don't require one, still absolutely give us a portfolio of your work because uh, that will get you some great scholarship opportunities on that end. And then the third scholarship that we, you might not think for an art and design school, but we actually have um, is athletics. SCAD is a thriving athletic program here. Um, so you can absolutely get an athletic scholarship to come play things like soccer or lacrosse or golf, tennis, swimming, cross country, track and field, things like that. So um, that's absolutely plentiful uh, here for you on that end as well. So I'm gonna stop sharing, and come back to you real quick. Um, and then finally, uh, when it comes to my information, I'll make sure to put that in the chat. I handle all students that come from the state of New York. So if you have any questions, definitely reach out to me uh, on that end. I'm also gonna put a discount code in the chat uh, that will waive our application Fee, which is on our website for you as well. Um, so that's less money that you have to pay for an application um, on that end. So definitely, if you're interested, definitely write that code down when I put it in there uh, for you as well. But thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate your time tonight. Awesome. Thank you, SCAD. Our next institution presenting will be Springfield College. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary D'Angelo, the Dean of Admissions at Springfield College. And I just wanna thank you for joining us tonight. I know I speak for my admissions colleagues when I say this has been a really interesting time um, in the college admissions world. And I appreciate the fact that even though I know most of you are probably really zoomed out from your academic experience last year, um, we appreciate you being with us virtually um, given that we were not able to be with you in person. So just as Dr. Lewis did, I'm gonna start with a little bit of history because I think it's very important um, in giving you an understanding of Springfield College. We were founded back in 1885 and we were founded other, under something referred to as the humanics philosophy. And that is we educate students in spirit, mind and body for leadership and service to others. And that mission in 1885 remains with us today, and it is really embedded in everything we do at the college. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the academic areas and how our philosophy impacts academics as well as um, our co-curricular life on campus. So at Springfield, we do have um, 40 majors and they do fall into schools. And I think if I, if I mention the schools to you, you'll get a sense of the types of majors that we have. So we have a School of Arts and Sciences. We have a School of Health Science. We have a School of Physical Education, Performance and Sports Leadership. And we also have a School of Social Work and Behavioral Sciences. And within those schools, we offer a variety of majors for our students to choose. I think it's also important to point out for those of you who may not um, yet be certain what you'd like to major in in college, our undeclared program is our largest major for first year students. And we absolutely encourage students who are not 100% certain of what they wanna study at 18 years old, we encourage you to come in undeclared because we have a year long exploratory studies experience for you, where you work very, very closely with a member of our academic advising center to choose a program that is most in line with not only your interests, um, but also your skill set. 
The academic programs at Springfield all do share a core curriculum and our humanities philosophy is very much embedded in that core. So along with you know, the academic requirements that you're taking in your particular area of study, you're also going to be taking courses from the core. And all students, regardless of major, take advantage of our core curriculum, where you will be taking courses related to, to wellness, which speaks to the body part of our philosophy. You'll be taking courses related to religious studies and philosophy, which speaks to the spirit. And then certainly the mind um, would be all of the other courses that you're taking throughout your undergraduate experience. Another important part for us to mention when we talk about what it's like to receive an ed education at Springfield College, aside from your academic program and the success that you will enjoy there, we also strongly encourage our students to particularly to participate in the co-curricular program. We are a member of Division Three in athletics. We have 26 sports for students to choose from. We also have a wealth of clubs and organizations on campus that students take full advantage of. And many students who arrive at Springfield choose to come to Springfield because of the fact that it's a very engaged um, campus community. We value participation from our students um, because we know that their contributions make our environment a richer place. Um, and if you have the opportunity to visit campus, you will see that it is a very vibrant, high energy community um, with students participating not only in their academic course of study, but in the full range of the co-curriculum that we offer. Springfield College in terms of admissions is a member of the Common Application. And as part of that, we are looking certainly at a student's high school transcript, but we are also carefully considering academic recommendations, we are looking very much at what you have contributed to your high school community, to your local community, jobs that you may have had throughout um, your high school years. We carefully read the application that you write as part of the Common App because we want to make sure that when we read your essay, that is your voice in the process. And we want to make sure that we hear your voice um, as we make a decision as to whether or not to admit you to the college. Um, in closing, I just want to mention that we have a very competitive financial aid program for our students to take advantage of, and that includes need-based aid, but also a merit scholarship program. And all of the information related to our merit scholarship program can be found on the website. It is based solely on a student's grade point average. We are a test optional institution, so we do not consider test scores as part of the process. And the final thing that I would like to share with you, we offer um, robust visit experiences for students. Um, we are fully open hosting students. We have an open house coming up on November 7th, but we also host students Monday through Friday and on Saturdays for information sessions and tours. And we would love to have you visit us as the first college in the Northeast that presented tonight um, we would love the opportunity to see you on campus. Thank you so much for your time. Awesome. Thank you, Springfield College. Our final school presenting is Hudson Valley Community College. Hello, everyone. My name is Emma Williams. I am coming to you from upstate New York. Um, Hudson Valley Community College is located in Troy, New York, which is about 20 minutes from the capital of New York, Albany. Um, so again, as um, Springfield College said, representing the Northeast. Um, I'm just gonna share my screen here with you guys. So um, what I would say we are known for the most is um, being a well-known community college in upstate, um, in the state of New York. So while we offer um, affordable um, programs as well as award-winning faculty members who give you the most up-to-date and um, state-of-the-art um, education where you can either get a job right after your time here or you can use us as a place to start and transfer to any of the great schools that you've heard about today. So while we do welcome 10,000 students per year to our campus, 
Um, we do have a smaller college feel, which I'll get into a little bit more um, throughout the presentation. Um, but these students do combine online students as well as um, evening students and um, just your general day students. So as I said before, since we are, we're a community college, we offer associate degrees, that's two year degrees. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more about what we offer. Um, but because of us being affordable, a lot of our students leave without accumulating debt. So they can start off on, you know, at the next school that they're studying to either get their bachelor's or their master's degree or you know, a job right after they're starting off on that clean slate. Um, our tuition is 2,400 per semester for a New York state resident. Um, we are a part of the SUNY system. So that's the state of um, State University of New York. Um, so if you're looking at other schools within the SUNY system, um, we do fall under that as well. Um, so our credits transfer very well between the both. Um, and I'll, again, I'll get into that a little bit more. Um, again, a good portion of our students leave with zero debt because um, of our affordability, we offer scholarships as well as um, a lot of financial aid. So um, that helps our students accomplish this as well. Um, and again, just as a visual, if you, if you were to start at Hudson Valley for the first two years of your education, um, before going to a four year school, you could save somewhere near this amount, depending on where you go and what you're interested in. But just um, as you start shopping around from college to college, again, I'll say I know that um, college is definitely an investment and it's something you want to make sure um, that either you or a family member or whatever is, is it's an investment that works for you and we want to help make sure that that is something you can accomplish here. So we do have 80 plus academic programs. Um, so, you know, a lot of options for um, anyone to start whether they're they know exactly what they want to do or they don't know what they want to do, which is I'm so glad someone else mentioned as well. It's OK to not know what you want to do right out of high school. I know that I did not. I'm a graduate of Hudson Valley um, and I had no idea what I wanted to do after high school. And I was able to come to Hudson Valley and take a, an undecided general program and narrow down some interests of mine. And then I transferred to four year school after. So I am a product of that. And I'm happy to be on this end and sharing my experience here. So our programs are separated into um, three schools here. So um, I will talk briefly about that. So School of Business and Liberal Arts, you're gonna be looking at a wide range of things here. So we're looking at um, accounting to um, criminal justice to early childhood. Um, our individual studies program falls under this. And again, that's one of our undecided, if you come to us and you say, I'm not sure at all, we're gonna tell you to go into individual studies super flexible, you can take whatever you need. Um, you, you have the opportunity to take a class you may have never taken before um, and you know find that passion through that. Um, so we totally recommend that and we welcome that. Um, into our School of Science, Technology and Math, also known as STEM. So a lot of our programs here um, are going to be hands-on um, two-year degrees where you can get a job right after some of these being our construction program our electrical construction maintenance is very popular. Um, um, employers in the area, um, as well as outside of the capital region, you know, seek out our students knowing that they're getting the most up to date and, um, you know, um, best education that they can get in that field because our professors are very passionate about it and they've either done that as a living and coming back and teaching you or just have been teaching for years and they want to share that with you. Um, as well as other programs such as, you know, computer information systems and cybersecurity. Those are two that are super popular right now and um, students can get a job right after their associate's degrees um, because of how much need there is in that area. Um, and then you can use that to transfer to four-year school as well and get your bachelor's degree. Um, um, our most pop or our most um, our newest one in this school would be our welding and fabrication program um, that came with a high demand. So we're excited to finally offer that as well as engineering science. A lot of students use that to transfer into engineering programs. Our health sciences programs are very popular and a bit more competitive to get into as well as again, um, because of the affordability and quality of these and the fact that the students can, can get well-paying jobs right after their time with us, um, they do um, come a little bit more competitive in terms of how to get into it. So if you have any questions, I'm going to put my info in the chat so you can um, reach out and ask um, how you could see yourself in one of these programs. Um, 
I do want to, I'm just zooming through here, sorry. I do want to say that while we do offer, have a lot of students come on campus, we have small classes. So you can get to know your classmates. You can get to know your professors um, and feel like you are in a community there, not just another face in the crowd. I did also want to mention we have a lot of student service um, academic support offices here to help you be the best college student you can be. Um, and I also want to show um, our wide range of clubs. We have 50 plus clubs and organizations. We totally recommend students to get involved. Um, a busier student is definitely a more productive student. Um, and our newest sports is eSports. So if you were getting into video games during the pandemic or before the pandemic, you can play competitively with your classmates. Um, and um, our application is free on our website. We don't need SAT or ACT scores, um, just your grades from your high school or your previous college. And we're happy to accept um, anyone to our college um, and let you, you know, guide you to the best place that um, would be your best fit here. And that is it for me. All right, thank you, Hudson Valley Community College. Uh, we do have a couple of minutes left in our um, presentation tonight. So I would like to have all of our presenters join me on video as we have time for a, view, a brief Q&A. All right, so the question I'd like to pose to you all is, what advice would you give to someone going through the college search process? And feel free to, to jump in whenever you're ready. Um, I, I'll, I'll go first. So I would say, um, I mentioned finding a school that's the right fit for you. So I won't reuse that. But one way that you can determine what's the best fit for you is to really figure out as you're going through different um, virtual tours or on-campus tours or college fairs, whether it's in person or virtual, um, figure out what makes each school different and unique. Um, really try to, to, to get through all of that, you know, beyond study abroad and friendly faculty members and great campus community, what makes each school completely unique and different? And does that align with what you're looking for in a particular institution? Um, and if so, might be a good fit. Yeah, I just like to add, have fun with this process. I know it's overwhelming. There are a lot of colleges in the United States. Um, you've heard just from six tonight, um, but it can be really exciting to learn. I know I learned a lot from my colleagues here this evening. So kind of relax, sit back, learn all you can. Um, and as Jacob mentioned, um, try to find the right fit by doing your homework and visiting and um, getting a sense of what might be the best choice for you. Absolutely. And I would just say there's no such thing as a silly question. Um, ask them all. I mean, I always tell students when you're right, right to about to take a campus tour or talk with an admissions professional, have an entire list of questions. We love answering questions. Believe me, we do. Um, and, and put everything out there because this is your time. This is your time to get all the information uh, that you need uh, to, to make the best decision possible. So um, ask them all. So there's no such thing as a silly or stupid question um, at all. Yeah, to add on, just like I work with the international student population. So some of them, you know, especially right now, maybe can't visit until they get here. Um, and yet my international student population has the highest retention rate as far as like students more likely to finish at Florida Southern. And a lot of that has to do with them asking the questions, you know, kind of like even if it is a silly question, um, it just asking the questions for to get the information that they need in order to help make that decision. So um, anything, most of my students, you know, before they get here, at least my international students would have already gotten to know, gotten questions from me answered, but then I've probably already connected them with the faculty and a student as well. Um, and so they've already made those connections by the time they get here, um, which some of my students who live in the local area may not have even done that. And I really think that they should take advantage of those opportunities because my international students are doing it. And the local ones have, not only are they able to visit campus, but maybe, you know, but they're also able to have those opportunities. And I would say, go ahead and take them because I will facilitate that for you. And I'm sure any of us will, if you ask. 
<laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you either. So if you don't ask, you know, I'm just kind of here waiting, being cool. <laughs> um, but I'm here to help. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I would just say really quickly, check your email. Um, you know, your, your email is just such a valuable resource. Um, and when you respond to us, you should see the, the, the joy that, that comes across our faces when we, we get responses from you to our emails. So check your emails. Feel free to share what we're sending with your parents, uh, because at the end of the day, this is a family decision. You, you know, involve, include whoever is going to be involved in helping you make the decision, whether it be your parents, your guardians, your family, your friends, um, because again, like we're all in this together at the end of the day. Um, and then I'll just add at the end, I know I mentioned it in my presentation as well, but um, to definitely just take into consideration the financial part of it and make sure that's, I know I mentioned that, but make sure it's something that works for you and your family in the future. Maybe that's just coming from a student loan place, but um, I think that um, out, being someone who went to community college and also a four-year school and done both, I think that's the biggest um, takeaway I have is making sure that that is something that um, will work out for you now, depending on if it's you paying or whoever it is, make sure that's something that works out for you as well. And you're getting the best education for the program that you're interested in as well. Awesome. Incredible advice, everyone. I'd like to thank all of our panelists for joining us tonight. You had uh, amazing presentations and great advice to share. Um, so now that we are out of time, I'd like to share one final slide with you all as we wrap up this event. So thank you to our participants for joining us tonight. When you close this window, there will be a link to a quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide on this event. And I encourage you to check back on the schedule and sign up for more sessions. Uh, um, we have more events happening tomorrow, so feel free to sign up for those. You'll be able to find the session recording for this event, as well as any other session recordings at strivescan.com slash CASDANY. And that is all I have for you tonight. Thank you once again for participating. I hope you have a wonderful evening.